words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have now loved you with our whole heart. We have now loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Saying together, Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come into his throne's praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. The Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. A reading from Job. Oh, that my words were written down. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and with lead they were engraved on a rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has thus been destroyed, then in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 17, verses 1 through 9. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart, summon me by night. Melt me down, you will find no impurity in me. I do not know the end of my mouth when I you. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your Lord. In your past, my feet shall not stumble. Call upon you, O God. For you will answer me, incline your ear to me, and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness, O Savior, those who take refuge at your right hand, from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who assault me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. The second reading is from Thessalonians. As to the coming of our Lord, Jesus Christ, and our being gathered together to him, we beg you, brothers and sisters, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as though from us the effect that the day of the Lord is already here. Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first, and the lawless one is revealed, the one destined for destruction. He opposes and exalts himself above every so-called God or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, declaring himself to be God. Do you not remember that I told you these things when I was still with you? But we must always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters, beloved by, by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits for salvation, through sanctification by the Spirit, and for belief in the truth. For this purpose, he called you through our proclamation of the good news, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, 
Stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Glory to God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. The third reading is from Luke. Some Sadducees, those who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him a question. Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no children, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers, the first married and died childless, then the second and the third married her, and so in the same way all seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, Those who belong to this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are considered worthy of a place in that age and in the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. Indeed, they cannot die anymore because they are like angels and are children of God being children of the resurrection. And the fact that the dead are raised, Moses himself showed in the story about the bush, where he speaks of the Lord as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God not of the dead, but of the living. For to him all of them are alive. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Please be seated. During this time for our observation of All Saints, All Souls, uh, we will be reading the names of people who are to be remembered and singing a hymn. You've probably heard us sing it in the past. It's Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. <laughs> Rosary Cathara, Robert Goldsand, Gary Kirkpatrick, Kirkpatrick, sorry, Lee Humboldt, Thomas Bogosian, Maria Madden, Carmen Madden, Silky Madden, my husband Jack Fitzgerald, my parents Alan and Ted Brownville, my godfather Myron Feldman, Doris Cabane, Kat D. Ferrari, Catherine Amico, Andrew Royer, Hilda, Margaret Yuhas, Ruth Coleman, Robert Hardy.
Edward Allen Sister, Roger Graham, Helen Graham, Stanley Russell, Lucille Russell, George Soul, Michael Soul, David Soul, Wayne Soul, Ryder, Edna and Lynn James, Richard McCoon. now named silently or loud. Please stand for the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again and be to judge the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Please give your neighbors a sign of peace. Peace, 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 peace. peace. The community of St. John the Baptist, that's all Conca and Mendham. They are having a uh, concert on Sunday, November 20th, 2022 at 4 p.m. A donation is appreciated, but not necessary. And you have to wear a mask during the concert. If you want any more information, I'm going to hang the flyer up in the North X and it gives the address of the convent and etc. The Reverend Fletcher Harper, spiritual leader of the Church of Our Savior and director of Green Faith is in Egypt for the 2022 United Nations Climate Change Conference. This 27th session of the conference parties on the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, also known as the COP27, meets November 6th through November 18th. We pray for Fletcher and for the success of the conference. Today, as you may know, is the in-gathering of the pledges. Uh, you can fill them your pledge card out online electronically, or we do have ones printed out in the back of the church. Next Sunday is the annual meeting immediately following the church service, so everybody will just stay right where you are, we'll move the podium around, and we'll have it right here. And then on Fletcher's return on November 20th, we'll have the blessing of the pledges. Uh, we have three birthdays this week, or coming up this week, one of which who is here. So we will sing happy birthday. The three birthdays are Alex Masiello, John Alyssa, and the person who is here is Barbara Coleman.
let us with gladness present the offerings and oblations of our life and labor to the Lord. Things come of thee, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We ask this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For all in you can live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us away against us the truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your same love among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that, when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God.
Please stand. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, and above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, and giving ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in all the of consciousness of all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the moving of you and the Holy Spirit, we honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is your insert. It's when the saints go marching in.